Hi dear students. Today I am going to start new chapter that is motion in a straight line. Okay, this one chapter comes under second unit kinematics. Unit two. Unit two kinematics. The weightage of mass for this unit seventy marks. Seventy marks. In this unit there are two chapters. Chapter number three motion in a straight line and chapter number four motion in a plane. Now I am going to explain motion in a straight line. Weightage of mass for this topic. Seven marks. Chapter number three: Motion in a straight line. Motion in a straight line. Motion in a straight line. Weightage of mass for this topic seven marks. Two marks for this one plus seven marks for five marks for this one. Seven marks. Here motion in what? What is the definition of motion? Chala na idhar idhu. The position of object changes with respect to time. Position of object changes with respect to time is called as motion. For example, this one is on object. Okay, after applying force, it is in rest position. After applying force on this body, body changes the position from one point to another point. Okay, that one is called as motion. चलने इंदर एरु. Okay, चलने. For example, this one is on body. Consider that a body. This one is the surface. After applying external force on this one body, why a balloon can't be drawn? Was to the result of the balloon being drawn. Okay, body changes position from one point to two, another point. One point to two, another point. Okay, body changes position from first position to second position with respect to time. With respect to time, it changes position from one point to another point. This one called as motion. Motion means a body changes the position from one point to another point with respect to time is called as motion. Motion in a straight line. Straight line is nothing but already you know body propagated along only one direction or moving along one direction. Straight line. This one is a one direction. Body moving along a straight line. Example for that one freely falling body. One dimension motion. One dimension motion. Okay. What is the definition of motion? Body changes the position from one point to another point with respect to time is called as motion. Okay. A body definition. A body or a particle or an object or object changes. Change the position. A body or object changes the position from one point to other with respect to time. He is called. He is called motion. Is called motion. A body or an object changes position from one point to another point with respect to time is called as motion. Motion for good or bad is straight line. Now, is clear or not? Okay, good. The next one.
mechanics. Mechanics is a branch of physics which deals with study about the objects in motion or bodies in motion or particles in motion is called as mechanics. It is a it is a branch of physics. It is a branch of physics which deals with with the, the study of objects or bodies in motion in motion is called is called is called mechanics is called mechanics mechanics it is a branch of physics which deals with study the objects or bodies in motion is called as mechanics okay can you tell me yantra shastra anta kariyutteve yantra shastra anta kariyutteve yantra shastra anta kariyutteve it is a branch of physics which deals with study about the objects or bodies are in the motion okay is called as mechanics Mechanics is a branch of physics which deals with study about the object or in motion is called as mechanics. That mechanics is divided into three types. One is the static and next one is the dynamics and last one it is the kinematics. First one static, second one dynamics, third one is the kinematics. Now, types of mechanics types of mechanics types of mechanics first one by study statics okay what is the definition of statics body does not change the position with respect to time for example Next year, types of mechanics. There are total three types. Type one, statics. Type one, static. It is a branch of mechanics which deals with the objects or body it is in rest. Objects or body it is in rest. Okay. We are going to study of object or in rest position that kind of branch is called as static. Okay, it is a it is a branch of it is a branch of mechanics. It is a branch of mechanics which deals with the which deals with the with the, the objects or bodies. Here 
any one object or body it is in rest position after applying force also body does not change its position such kind of bodies is called as static bodies it is a branch of physics sorry mechanics it is in study of the objects or bodies in rest is called as static वस्तु तथान बदलवे अंत वस्तु पोजिशन This one is an example for study. For example, we are going to study about the rest position of a building, rest position of a bus, rest position of a car, rest position of a tree. Okay, these are the main examples of studies. Then, second one. the branch of mechanics which deals with the study of objects or bodies in motion okay with the considering cause of their motion okay with the considering cause for their motion it is a branch of mechanics which deals with study of the objects or in motion okay with the considering cause for their motion okay it is a branch of Mechanics which deals with the the study of objects in motion with the considering cause of their motion. Okay, its meaning when object it is in rest position. This is body A. It is in one position. It is in one position. Now it is in state of rest. This is this is a state of rest. Upper body, body. It is in rest position. Rest position. We are applying some amount of external force by a balloon of energy. Okay, we are applying some external agency by a balloon of a metal to it. Okay, body changes its position from one point to another point from first position to the first second position. Body changes its position. Body changes its position from one point to another point with respect to time. With respect to time. Body changes the position from one point to another point with respect to time. Okay, this much of a distance covered by a body. This much of distance covered by a body with respect to time. Okay, here for that motion we need external force. वस्तु चलने आगे तक इतना दूर करी हम इसलिए देखो बाधा देखो बाहर या बाहर देखो. Now we are considering this external force for that motion. We are considering external force for that motion. Okay, that one is called as dynamics. वस्तु चलने आपको कहीं तो तेरी गिरने के लिए बाहर वाला देखो, 
ಈ ಒಂದು ಬಾಯ ಬಲವನ್ನು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಅಂತ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಏನಂತ ಕೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಡೈಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಫೋರ್ ಅಟ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಬಾಡಿ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಎಸ್ ಡೈಲೆಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಒನ್ ಸೈನ್ ಐಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲೇನಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಡೀಲ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇನ್ ಮೋಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಷನ್ Okay, here we consider force for that motion. Okay, this one is called as dynamics. third one type in mechanics that is the kinematics kinematics this one is the third one type in mechanics it is a it is a branch of it is a branch of mechanics which deals with the the objects are in motion objects are in motion without
the word kinematics is derived from greek language initially called as kinema kinema means motion the kinematics which is derived derived from derived from greek word in greek word initially called as initially called as kinema 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 means which means motion motion chalane motion kinematics okay. kinematics na motta motta edalli words la irukku greek language undi words la irukku greek language la irukku kritulu kinema kinema means motion chalane okay up to here we discussed the important concepts of a motion in a straight line okay in next class i am going to explain about the frame of reference position path length displacement speed velocity okay and uh, displacement of a body okay thank you